So, I am currently waiting on Zeus. <laughs> Kidding. Waiting on hay delivery. Everything's cleaned out. Got everything all into the abyss of darkness. It's a lot brighter once you get in here. But um, five months ago or so, I did a video talking about um, getting hay and uh, trying to get as much as you can. So that's five months ago. I'll show you guys the hay loft here. This is our hay loft. And this thing holds somewhere around, I don't know, 11 tons or so. It's got a great view. <laughs> Waiting on the hay guys. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> Zeus, Zeus, oh, he's like, there you are. What are you doing, man? Where's the mouse? Go get the mouse. Duff. Got to clean those tarps. Right there. Uh, anyways, see, when you get hay, you know, you really want to get as much as you can. I just had a recent conversation with another girl about, uh, you know, hay for your horses and whether it affects them adversely if you change out all the time. Because a lot of people can't get much more than, say, a month worth or even a few weeks or something like that. So, we're kind of lucky that way, have this space here. Anyhow, so uh, a little tidbit of information. You're, if you're living on a, a farm or, you know, a barn kind of like area, you're naturally going to start to attract critters. And the thing that I kind of look for when, I don't know if this is going to show because I don't have enough light, but uh, I'm always looking along the edges to see if there's any sort of this is an old one here it's like a year old or something like that but you see how this is all sort of chewed out you know they made a nest in there a while ago kind of idea that had to be at least jeez i don't even remember probably a year and a half found that and i was like what and there was five little babies in there so anyhow so check out your uh your hay loss and stuff you just never know when you might find some little spot you know when you get it all clean all cleaned out and stuff okay heading back down huh. all right let's go do a quick horsey check i've already kind of glanced around didn't see any problems i guess you could say nothing nobody's out of food or water it's early morning something like eight o'clock or so Relatively early. The skies are gray. A little cloudy. Kind of more brighter over that way, but I don't know what the forecast is supposed to be. Our little uh, bird is back. The girls up there are doing great. In case you're wondering, we'll be back. Springers as usual, pretty tidy in a way. Um, whoop. What's going on, Zeus? You coming along for a horsey check as well? This guy's doing fine. He's got this uh, salt block here. And uh, that thing in the, the yellow container. What's up, Sky? And every single day, he turns it over and dumps out his salt block. And we go in and fix it back up for him. Not all the time, but most of the time. And then he just flips it back over again kicks it around or something. I've never caught him doing it, but I, one day I will. Okay, where's this bird? I can't believe, look at this. Whew. I love this. I can't wait till this is actually being used. Today, I hope to get some stuff done, but man, I'm a little sore. Where is this guy? Heard, there he is. There he is. Let's see how close we can get with this camera. This little dude, he's always here now. We'll walk up slow. Oh, he's gone. Ah, see, and he lives up here somewhere. There he goes. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna see him because I can't even see him. There. Just tap, tap, tap it away at the tree. Oh, he's gone. Pretty sure he lives up there. Somewhere. There. Right there. Oh, come on, camera. Do your thing. Nope, it, it won't. Auto exposure. It exposes for the light parts of the video or the dark parts if there's more dark and then it brightens it up, but. Anyways, he already climbed up the tree. It's gone. Lots of work back to do back here. Horses are good. Lena, are you making a mess in that corner? I think she's got that corner figured out now. That's her messy spot. Right? Oh. Hey, buddy. Luke got chewed on. Look at his face. <laughs> Who chewed on you? Is it Roni? What are we doing? You got food? Yeah, you got food. You're good. This is uh, something you need. <laughs> oh boy. Um, that's about it, I think. I don't think I have too much more. Lots of things to do. Still waiting on hay. I'll get the hay guys here and then I actually got to clean up and rake up um, some, uh, some of the driveway from yesterday. I'm making a big mess of things. Hi, Lena. What's happening? How's your new paddock? Do you like your buddy? Yes? Is that a yes? What are you doing? What? You're very close to the camera. It can't focus on you. I need a macro lens for that business. Huh? Yeah. I don't really want to scratch you. I mean, I sort of don't sort of do, but not right now. I had the wrong sweater on. <laughs> I've got my sweater on. So, I'll be back. Okay, lots going on. I will update you guys as I go, as usual. If you're interested in finding out what goes on places like this, where you're always just sort of working on something, building something, making something better, fixing something. A lot of fixings of stuff and things. I'm a dog. <laughs> it just goes wherever I go. It's nice. This tree here. We were talking about this in the live stream, I think. Ah, uh, the, the, the fireside one. Thanks everybody who came to the fireside chat. That was cool. It's nice. We'll probably try to do that every Saturday. If we can. Hopefully next time we'll be outside. Okay, that's it. You guys have seen the fish. No need to show those. Moving on. See you shortly. Raked out the driveway. Working away, waiting for these guys to show up. They did. Hay has arrived. I mean, uh, <laughs> when I say it's arrived, it's arrived. They think they said something like uh, 13 tons. So, goes across on the hay elevator into the loft where it gets stacked and it looks exactly like it looks like on a trailer. So, uh, I didn't finish my last little bit that I was going to talk about, and I'll just quickly talk about paddock. Number eight, day four build, uh, but uh, getting a big, huge load of hay like that can be really beneficial to the horses because you're just on one field. You're usually just on one field. The trailer comes straight from the farmer. Uh, they just bring it and unload it. So you're not getting a bunch of fields in theory. And uh, it's the same cut, same grass, same place. Uh, um, you know, it's, it's found to be very good for the horses to be just on one thing. Uh, but not always. I mean, they can, they can adapt. But uh, yeah. Anyway, so same thing I talked about last time. I'll link to the other video that I did before. But there we go. That in about an hour, maybe hour and a half, we'll be in the barn. Okay, I'm working here. So day number four, right? Um, we've got to make an entrance way to this here. So I've started this pathway here mainly because this area was muddy. Now, if you're ever thinking of this kind of thing and you're going to build your own paddocks and your own whatever and stuff, anything that's muddy is going to stay muddy and the more you mess around with it, the muddier it's going to get. In fact, the, um, 
The guy that came originally to work on this place with the excavator and a bulldozer to just get things landscaped properly. It's a helicopter. Yes. Another noisy. Whoa, he's low. Super low. There he goes. Okay. Hard to talk when that's going over your head. Anyhow, when he came and uh, it was. I don't know if I have any video. I'll see if I can't find some of the video uh, that I got, mostly from a drone. But when it's wet, when it was kind of clay and dirt and trying to move around a machine, the more you move, the goopier and worse it got. Um, so this area here, as you can see, the tracks are pretty pronounced, you know, um, muddy. It was muddy. Now it's kind of drying out. It hasn't rained for a couple days now. And uh, so this will all flatten out. I mean, you just kind of walk along it a lot and Pretty soon it gets squished down into flat, which is what you want. Anyway, so uh, when when we were bringing the gators through here, there was a lot of you know back and forth, which is why way over there it did get muddier. Um, but this was just wet, so started the pathway here. We're going to build this pathway up into here. For now, uh, as per discussion on the uh, fireside live chat on Saturday, um, we were having figuring out what to do with this log with this stump. One day it'll go, but uh, time does not allow for such a, an endeavor at the moment. Time and energy. Um, and it, to me, it has a little bit of character. I kind of like it, but I agree that it's also not a very functional piece. It's more of a, oh, look at that. Little bird, right there. Hanging out on the log. See, that's kind of what I mean. <laughs> uh, and we've got our little tiny owl in here. Thanks to Piggy's owner. It's a lovely little thing. So, uh, for now, I mean, no matter what, I think there would be a little pathway that would go up to here. Because what we're going to do, or in theory, if all works out as, pl as planned, uh, this will get cleared out in here. I'm going to get the chainsaw, cut this thing away here. Um, and, uh, and the gate will go across here. This will all be fence. That's a shelter. Um, so that's the idea. So day four here, I'm just mainly doing this cleanup in, in here. Uh, I'll probably, I'll probably try to put in some temporary fencing. I do want some horses in here to start stomping this down a little bit. Uh, Lena's great for that. Big feet, slow, doesn't really run around a lot. And uh, so I want to get this edge all cleaned up cut this away get it ready and uh if i have the energy for it because i'm feeling kind of stiff today uh, i might put in a post or two but we'll get the temporary fencing up and uh, maybe chuck a horse in here or so have them walk around on this and tamp it down so that's that's sort of the deal now you know so you see it from this angle it looks it's gonna look it's gonna be all gray in here a nice little pathway and then this area here is going to get built out to hopefully be a small uh, obstacle course sort of thing. And I'll reroute this stupid line here. <laughs> oh man. And clean it up. Anyways, so hay's getting done. It's awesome. Just fill the thing up. We're down to our last six bales or so. So running low. Six bales is maybe, for us, it's maybe three days. Maybe, maybe four days, depending on how many horses are here. But. Nah, more closer to three. So, okay, that's it for now. I'll see you guys again uh, shortly. Uh, who's having a nabby nap? Hey, Zeus and I just had a little snack, and he's having a little nappy nap. And as I said, roundabouts an hour. These guys are just about done. That whole trailer. It's amazing. And handy. I remember the days I used to uh, load my own hay into a, a vehicle, take it to the barn, put it up into the loft. <laughs> it's hard work. Those guys are working their butts off. And just non-stop, just go, go, go. So, the loft is full, the bottom is full, and uh, that's it for the hay story for now. So, moving on to paddock stuff.
that's a little better now this area here is clear and uh, it's good to have your fence line clear of shrubbery and it won't allow uh, water to pool there as well. It'll pool and stay and stay moist. Want things to dry out. Whew. Okay, moving on to the next thing. Okay, it's fencing day. Well, it's actually sort of temporary fencing day. First, I gotta redo the electrical line. I thought I would discuss with you guys with Sky's patience. Hi buddy, how you doing? Oh, just be good, just let me scratch you. Don't get so worried, come here. Come here, come here, come on. There you go, Out of boy. Okay, all right, we got Sky as our <sighs> witness, <laughs> audience. Oh wow. Huh. Didn't know that happened. Neighbor's got to clean that up, I guess. Maybe I'll help him out. Okay, so we have to redo the electrical line here. And I've had discussions about electrical lines with other people in the past. And um, I really wasn't for electrical lines for a while. And my vet came and he says, you know, even if you don't really use it, even if you just sort of have them more aware that they should stay off the fence, you should probably do that. I trust a lot of things he says. He's got a lot of experience and he tells a lot of stories because he's a vet and he gets to see all these things where horses are getting their feet, something stuck on a fence and their leg is degloved and all kinds of stuff. And he says, it's not there to hurt them. It's there, to the, it's there for them to just understand that fences are there for a reason. Just respect the things, stay within the space that you've got. And that's what you just, as, as a domesticated animal that has to be kept in controlled spaces it's the nature of the business so um i have to redo this line though because this line was ridiculous it came here and then it went across over to that tree and stuff and then this paddock was never done properly um and now that they're going to be horses that'll be a little bit closer we might have some action happening in here i got to redo the line to go across there and then i'm going to restart the line that comes down here to go along the fence line because that's smarter anyways uh, to get done and at the same time I'm probably going to repair this little hole that you guys saw if you saw it if you're old to the channel uh, the deer went through zap oh what are they impervious to it that'd be amazing <gasps> they just go right through there there's a little hole in the fence there sort of now deer can jump, so I'm not really worried. They can go find some other spot to jump over and stuff like that. Um, okay, so let's get on with this. Right, Sky? <laughs> What's up, buddy? You're adorable. Nice colorings. Really like that white blaze. Looking sharp. Okay, moving on. I can't help but wonder if Sky is wondering how can I touch this fencing without dying. <laughs> Putting this stuff on is relatively easy. I think, uh, you know, other people have other ways maybe or different techniques or something, but it's simple. You're really just trying to get these things on with a screw, wrap the cord around it, like so. Call it a day. So I'm just going to run this line here. Hopefully Sky doesn't lose it while I'm doing it. He seems to be rather concerned. You guys get to live there. Let's get on with this.
Well, that's typical. I'm short one connector. Yeah. Every time. Just one. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. You want these things to be relatively tight. And I like them where they run pretty parallel with that top line. You can see, so it doesn't really interfere. But it's just slightly above. And then, I mean, everybody's got a different way. Me, I just sort of do a double hitch on, on the end there and it stays. So, that paddock is done. And, uh... We'll see how much it rains for how much it'll continue, but now I've got to do a new line along the fence line along there and that'll match up to there and then we'll be able to get in there done and Yeah, hopefully this rain doesn't continue. It's supposed to sprinkle a little today, you know, maybe a little tomorrow and then kind of clear up a bit Okay, that's good See if he does it again. Oh, he's off. That's cool. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> Time to get busy. <laughs> 